Walmart is raising pay and giving bonuses to most of its employees nationwide. But it's also closing dozens of Sam's Club stores, laying off hundreds. So what's going on? Money editor John Delano takes a closer look. Art is raising its starting wage, adding new benefits, and giving a bonus to eligible employees, the company announced on its website. I'm glad to hear it for the people that are employed there. The news comes as Walmart closes many of its Sam's Clubs, laying off workers nationwide. For those still working, beginning in February, Walmart's starting wage rises to $11. Paid maternity leave expands to 10 weeks and paid parental leave to 6 weeks. Employees adopting get a $5,000 adoption benefit. And employees of two years or more will get a bonus of $250 to 1000 bucks, depending on years of service. Walmart's decision to raise its minimum wage from $10 to $11 an hour is a corporate decision alone. No government is making them do that. In fact, in Pennsylvania, the state's minimum wage, set at $7.25, has not been raised, believe it or not, since 2009. Walmart credits the Republican tax bill for being able to do this, but skeptics don't buy it. The pressure is out there to get better employees because other states have already raised the minimum wage and uh, the demand is, is really high for workers because the economy is growing. And stores like Target have already moved to 11 bucks an hour. Not all Walmart shoppers think this will benefit consumers. When wages go up, prices go up. The money has to come from somewhere. They're saying it's the tax cut. I don't know about that. And given what happened at Sam's Clubs with layoffs, some shoppers are skeptical. Talking to a young lady now checking out, there's a lot of people in this store, and a lot of stores are going to be losing their jobs. Walmart can give $11 an hour. But how many people are going to be working? John Delano, KDKA, TV News.